Hey, what's up, guys? It's Flux. I'm going to show a really quick video on how to do some cool stuff with uh, the Abbey Road drum series in contact inside a machine. Um, I'm going to show you some stuff really pretty quickly here. So I've got Abbey Road 60s drum, the late 60s kit, punch it. Um, first thing I'm going to show you really fast is how I map it out to my liking. Right now it's not mapped out how I'd like. It's very easy to map it out. So say I want my snare here, but I don't want that snare. I'm going to go ahead and change this. Center alternating. Learn. Hit that snare. There it is. Okay. Kick. I want this to be a kick also. Get the felt beater. Learn. Kick. All right. Um, this snare, I want it to be, um, I'm going to go with, I'll actually do uh, halfway alternating. Oh. Halfway alternating. There. Hit the button. All right. Then I'm going to do my hi-hats. Okay. This one's going to be an open hi-hat. Do it open quarter of the way or half of the way. Halfway. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Up here, we're going to do another hi hat. Uh, we'll do shank alternating. This one here, I'd like it to be um, actually a different type of hi hat. Uh, let's do some toms. Yes. This one right here is going to be a ride. Okay, so now I've got these all mapped out. Actually, this one. This one here I'm going to change. I like to have a little, little bit of like a, a flam or something in there. So that works. Um, okay, so now um, I've got these mapped out how I want, uh, but the drums don't. They don't sound the way I want. Um, yeah, I can go into the mixer here. Um, that's only going to get me so far. Uh, we have contact. Contact's awesome. So let's go ahead and use contact the way it's meant to be used. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my insert effects. All right. I'm going to add um, a uh, where are we at tape saturator. Okay. I'm going to add. Um, transient master okay um, really cool thing here is with um, contact it maps out inside a machine really easily all you got to do is hit the auto all right and then drag this these blank ones to the knobs that you want and it's automatically going to show up inside a machine um, 
So what I'm going to do is I have Tape Saturator highlighted. Drag this to the gain. Drag this to the warmth. Drag this to high frequency roll off. Drag this to output. Then I'm going to grab Transient Master. Do the same. Input. Attack. Sustain. And output. Okay? So now my, my knobs are going to be automatically mapped in there once I get to the correct pages. Here we are. Okay? So I've got a uh, gain here. Warmth, high frequency roll off, output, input, attack, sustain, output again. Okay? So now. So I can make it sound how I want it. Um, I'm going to bring the gain up on the tape saturator up. So it's a little bit more gritty. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to keep my attack around like, say, 75. Sustain, I'm going to bring up. If you want, you can throw compressors on there. You know, it's it's all pretty easy to do. Um, solid bus compressor. I can even grab a preset right from there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on there. A lot of times I'll put the transient master over here um, after the um, you know the bus. After the compressor, I mean. Um, so now that I have that going, um, I can go ahead and just lay my drums out and you know track them out however I want. And you're you're mapped out. You can grab your knobs and tweak them. Um, I don't have the compressor uh, mapped out with my knobs yet. If I wanted to do that, um, all I'd have to do is open up my browser here. Auto. I've got blank knobs here. You know I could do threshold. Uh, my ratio, attack, my release, make up, mix, then overall output of the compressor. So very, very, very easy to uh, to go ahead and adjust everything. works out pretty easy. Very easy. Can't complain about that, right?